right now. And, uh, boy, Art, Art Herrera as a referee held his ground. He said, this is what I saw, the, this is what I'll call, and Barangay never has just been issued a warning, but that inbound is bad. There's Cortez, loses control. He lost his grip on the ball. He was looking away. So Mike Cortez just got into the ball game. Maybe a little cold. Maybe rushing himself a little bit. Selena Cruz. Selena Cruz checks in for Mike Cortez. And Mike Cortez will go out. Never, never easy when a coach has to make that decision. Some coaches like to do that. The Polato player who has made a mistake. Uh, some allow them to play through. But the interesting part there was Alan Gay did play the role of the good cop. Yeah, there has to be a good cop, bad cop for their, for your team. Obviously, players may not be happy that they go to the bench, but then you yeah, still have to make them to remind them to stay positive because that doesn't mean you're not coming back again. Especially a player, if you are like a Michael Tess. In the meantime, and Everton playing now with the energy they had at the start of this ball game. While Alaska is trying to find its rhythm, Hugnatan with his second personal foul. The Barangay never fans have decided. Reniel Hugnatan will be our bad boy tonight. <laughs> boy, talking text, I see their coaches. They're already at work. Earlier today, as I remind you, and thank Haynes, of course, uh, the official underwear of the PBA. Earlier we saw a shot tank in center also doing his job with Gia Banilla. Uh, you know, this six points of Rudy Hatfield, huge for his team. Lacking the Tagian. And that has enabled them to post this 37 to 29 advantage, an eight pointer with less than five minutes to go. Second quarter. Veracruz zips it to Hugnata. Tenorio sends it quickly to Barriaso, looking for an angle. Somebody bumped his body. And Barangay Hinebra is beginning to feel they're not getting a break here. Well, Barangay Hinebra going with that zone defense. Although they're playing zone, Rico Villanueva, the only guy that has real size out there. Good job by the Alaska Aces to attack that zone by driving to the basket and getting that foul. Villanueva trying to explain that he was in this particular airspace. Well, probably the ref said you violated the airspace of the other person. You know, I get the kick out of that uh, when I see that in the... I, I rode an airplane this morning. Just distance away, another airplane. Somebody... <laughs> an interesting traffic situation. In the air, huh? In the air. Parang traffic. Ang laki-laki ng... Ano ba yung... Ano ba yung sky so tagalog? Just in the... The sky so huge and then all of a sudden... When you're in, you're in the ocean, boats. And you wonder why tragedy sometimes happens like exactly. in the Exactly. It's not like it's not like it's not 4.35 remaining. Will you have a quick handoff to Miller? Crossover. Back to Villanueva. Eight on the shot clock. Finally got an angle on that one. Remember, Sam, we talked about it. If Parangay never getting points from the bench, and they're getting it tonight. Enrico Villanueva's got some points. Rudy Hadfield has contributed. And uh, a while ago, even JC Tal has also contributed. So four guys already right there, three guys right there, already putting points up for them. Then audio. Six seconds remaining on the shot clock. His intended pass read by the men in white. Miller says, nobody wants to run with me, I'll fire. That is outside. We're going to jump. <laughs> I love it when both coaches complain over the same call. Alaska uh, winning out of the staff. 39-31 is the count. Defense, by the way, has been brought anew into the lineup. Ognatan Tariaso. Defense. 
And now they're within six. You know, when you look at Alaska in this game, they seem like they're not really playing a great game, but they're not out of it, only down no, by six. Yep. But again, Ginebra, they've, got, they've had some good runs within this game. And the Sunday special on a Sunday, knocking in the three and making it 42 to 33. 305 to go. Diamond Simpson waiting for his cue to get back into this ball game. Tarriasa tries his version of a three, does not connect. And Hatfield uncontested for that rebound. Well, one of the guys very quiet for his team, Sonny Foss. Villeneuve ends up with the offensive foul and looked at Joseph Wichico and Art de la Cruz. But what they're saying is they're wondering if it was the charge was drawn in the no charge zone. He has good feet on the part of Reynal who's not going to step out. No, he's his feet right underneath that no charge zone. Should have been a charge. And unless, we, unless they're saying that he left with his with his knee. In the meantime, we've got a full timeout back in a very quick moment. There's 39 remaining 42-33, Barangay Nebra and Willie Marshall is talking with our boss man, Peter Chan Leong, um, the CEO of Solar TV. Listen very well, Willie. Uy, gulat sila. Nasa TV kami. Ay, nakita ako. 20,000, 26 strong. Again, earlier tonight, we had uh, B. McDerby Ace closing up their series against a very, very tenacious, spirited, rain or shine team. Just didn't get some uh, breaks in the end. Final score after overtime, 105-100. In the meantime... Uh, Rocky well, really has a bone to pick with the officials. Yes, I think because they have been warned already earlier. And a, a warning on Hatfield, Art De La Cruz gets the technical. I think the refs are saying, okay, we've heard you. I'll take it from the head coaches, but not... Uh, and this is uh, something that lives in basketball. No disrespect intended to Art De La Cruz. It's just that the refs will get it from the uh, head coaches, but we won't listen to the assistant coaches. And, an unwritten and, rule, huh? And I believe uh, there was a warning issued earlier. Uh, they, they, they would expect that uh, that would uh, let everyone tone down, but that didn't happen, so uh, next move now. Oh, 42 34. Baggio has yet to light a fire here as Tenorio is basket hunting and Hatfield has been a yeoman in terms of rebounds with a collection of six. Hatfield says, I'm an offensive player, but I am angled away. And Hatfield saying, didn't I get bumped in that last sequence, sir? Tenorio loses the grip. Picked up nonetheless by Simpson. His shot does not circle in. And Chris Daniels has it. So both imports very quiet in this game. Daniels only one point. On the other hand, Simpson seven points only having four attempts. Salvation straight and short. Simpson going for that rebound. Collection 11. A minute and 38 inside the cross. Tenorio launches. Oh, good He's rebound. Rudy Hadfield really being doing positive things on the floor. Like you said, already a seventh rebound. And he's making sure that his side of the zone is not being penetrated by the rebounders of the opposing team. That's a good point. Tenorio's beginning to tire out here. This shot by Selena Cruz is in the neighbor's house already. Talked about Eli Tenorio they might be tiring out. I'm sure he's okay. But the thing is, when you look at this Alaska team right now, playing against that Ginebra defense, it seems that Eli Tenorio is the only guy that can get a shot up. The rest of the guys seem Good to be point, a, a yes. little bit slower and uh, unable to really find the cracks and creases on this Ginebra zone. And Tenorio has had to work hard for his shot, setting them up. And Baggio tries to get his 
own game going. It's a six-point game so far for Sunday.